hello 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 you wonderful wonderful people all over the world wherever you will be watching my god's hallelujah kitchen so let me just welcome you come on in guys come on in your twin is in the kitchen and today i am on my own maybe you will see my twin sister pop in i'm not sure but yeah maybe anyway i am here and as you know when i'm in the kitchen i am about to cook you guys something lovely so today is friday yeah i don't know when you're gonna get the chance to watch this video anyway but um it's friday and for us in jamaicans normally on a friday my mom growing up as a child my mom would not cook like main you know normal food sometimes she would probably bake a potato pudding or she will probably um do some festival and um she would probably just do something different from a normal everyday food so yes i am in the kitchen so i'm gonna try and turn my hand and make fashion that's our jamaican statement turn your hand make fashion yeah i know when you're growing up and you hear turn your hand make fashion you think oh turn your hands make fashion well it's actually me for those who may not understand what i say when i actually said the word turn your hand make fashion what they actually mean in this is whatever you've got in your cupboard whatever you've got in your fridge it may not be like the normal chicken or steak or um, pork or you know mutton but if you've got like little you know leftover little tin mackerel or little pasta or whatever you've got in your cupboard just use your resources and make something make something out of something that you may think oh i haven't got much in my cupboard I haven't got much in my in my fridge well actually if you look in there you probably see some leftover something or you may have in your cupboard um a tin mackerel or a corned beef or whatever you you may fancy or some beans baked beans or butter beans so you just incorporate that with probably some pasta or some rice or whatever you got and that's what they mean when they said turn your hands make fashion so today let me introduce you come on guys welcome to god's hallelujah kitchen let me introduce you to my um dish today that i am gonna just do what comes to mind as you know when when i'm in the kitchen i actually just do what comes to mind so today in this dish i have gonna i have some mixed vegetable so this is with the carrot you've got the string bean you've got some um, sweet corn you and you've got some um, green beans in it so this is going to be in my dish and yes it's a pasta dish this is my pasta that i'm going to use today i have some cut up i don't know if you can see let me just turn that up Boom. and this is pine so i had some leftover pine in the fridge and i'm gonna pop that in to my dish also in this i have cut up some fresh and um, season so i have my tomato i've got sweet pepper i've got and um, some parsley in there i've got some spring onion onion i have some thyme and i have um, some garlic in in there Oh, I need to put a bit of um, ginger. So I'm going to put some fresh ginger in that also. So this is actually my fresh vegetable. I have not long ago blend a coconut. So I'm going to use this freshly squeezed coconut milk to make my sauce for my pasta dish. And in that, I am going to have some turmeric. I have some pasta season here and i have my chili i have my 
turmeric and blended season so this is like a mixed herb and I have some parsley that's gonna go in there and parsley that's gonna go in there and I have my grown black pepper okay and you know me I don't cook without my Maggi cube so I'm gonna have my Maggi cube in that and I'm actually gonna put some um, sweet chili yeah when I'm making my sauce I'm gonna put some sweet chili and oh one is already out Chili, some tomato ketchup, this back in the cupboard. Oops, 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 oops. sorry about that. My bra is falling off. And uh, tomato ketchup, and this is some hot pepper because you know me, I love a bit of spice. So let's start cooking. But as I, I'm gonna cook, just let me check in with you guys. How are you keeping? Okay, here in the UK, in Jamaica, in America, in Canada, wherever you may be, how are you keeping? I'm hoping that you are fine, you are doing okay, you are not too stressed, you know, you're not overthinking. I know many people at this time, you know, has lost jobs, you know, lost loved ones, yeah. Many people um, are a bit frustrated and not sure if they will be, you know, going into a job when this is over. So I know it, saying all that sounds, you know, stressful because to think about losing your job and your job is what pays your bill what um, if you've got children is what you use to you know maintain the home and the family and for moms or moms and dad or dad alone or mom alone you know wherever you are in that sort of emotions it can be very frightening because you're now thinking okay scary time what am i going to do how am i going to feed my children how am i going to look after myself you know but don't give up hope you know nothing stays the same one of the things that i realize in life is that nothing remains the same there's always change coming but if you frustrate yourself when the negative is happening and you allow the negative to you know penetrate your emotions or your body and it frustrates you to the point where you know you you get sick because one of the things that happens to us when we are overstressed it actually gives you high blood pressure. It actually um, is a factor to your health. So if you are overstressed, if you are worried too much, you know, it put you into um, a negative place. So when the good time comes, you are miss out of a good time. So at this time, you may feel like, wow, it's a hard time. Nothing is happening. Everything seems to be going bad. Nothing seems like it's going to get better. But what you need to understand that nothing stays the same. And for those who are a believer, not everybody's a believer. And I do understand that. And I'm not here to, you know, play, put my, my, my belief on you. But I do have a belief and I believe that there is a higher source. I believe that there is a God, you know, and I believe that he loves us in spite of all we are seeing things. You know, one of the things that I understand is that God has given all of us as human race a conscience. And he has given us, you know, that, that power to choose to do good uh, or choose to do bad. And sometimes we, we look in society and we see all the bad happening and we, we get frustrated with God. We get, you know, angry at God because we wonder, where is God? But God has a time. You know, one of the, the my sister and I was reflecting on God and time. And God actually have a time. And for those who read the Bible, you will actually see that he said it, that there is a time of his coming. You know, and he didn't say that of everything that he is actually going to be there. Because what he did, you know, he actually give us that 
power within ourselves to choose to do good to each other, to love each other, to look up to each other. But we fail. We fail each other. And when we fail each other, we blame God. You know, but God has given love in our heart. Every man has love in their heart. Every man and woman have love in their hearts. Every man and woman also have evil in their hearts. And it's up to us to choose whether we want to allow the evil within our hearts to function or we want the good within our hearts to function. And we have that choice. You know, all of us, if you, if you could agree with me, there are times in your life that your inner self want you to do something and the thing that your inner self is pushing you to do is something negative but you have that resistance so you resist that temptation within yourself it's not an external personal voices saying to you to go and steal or you know to do something negative or or to, to tell lie or, or whatever is negative but there is sometimes there's that inner part of you is pushing you to do something negative but there's also the good part of you is saying that it's not going gonna to be well with you if you do that and you have to choose within those two you know inner self to do what is right and if you don't do what is right the consequences are there and so going back to my you know my original statement where sometimes we get frustrated with god because all of the evil that is happening in the world but god has a set time and God is also giving us all as human race a fair chance to change. Because when he comes back, when he actually comes back, you know, that's the final. You know, and if he comes back when we are not doing what is right, then we miss out on that reward. So when you don't see God show up in this time, in that way that we want him to show up, because God is already given us the power to choose to do right to each other we have the power to love and to forgive you know we just choose not to do it you know so those who are out there if you if you find that you are you are wrestling with your inner self and your inner self is always allowing you to do negative there's a way of escaping it you know and you can be changed you can be delivered from that you know that that, that negative self you know, because there is goodness in all human race. We just don't want to tap into the goodness that is in us. But enough of that. Yeah, just encouraging you. Stay strong, stay motivated. And I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking up a storm. And you know me. I love to encourage my, my viewers. I love to empower you guys. And I love to know that you guys are okay. You know, so if you, if you wish, you could send... You know, send a comment and you know, send some love. You know, and one of one of the things that I appreciate everything. You know, because negative are out there and positive are out there, and it's what we do with our negative. So if not, somebody said negative comment, you know, I have to reflect on the, the the comment. Why did they say? And also reflect on myself, okay, and see, okay, I can if I can use that to build myself even better. So winner all the time okay so i'm gonna kind of wash this off and start to prepare my sauce and i will show you what i'm doing as i go along so come on guys journey with me i'm gonna go over the sink and get this wash for this is for any one of my viewers that may be watching this and at the time you're watching this you are not in a good place of thinking. And I'm going to try and sing this song for you. Okay? I'm not a singer. But I just want to, you know, for somebody who will be watching to know this. You don't have to worry. And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning, troubled day don't last always. Remember there's a friend in Jesus, he will wipe your tears away. So if your heart is broken, just lift those hands 
and say, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand, no matter what may come my way, my life is in His hands, with Jesus you can make it, with Him I know you can stand, and no matter what may comes your way, your life is in God's hand. Said I know that I can make it, and I know that you can stand. No matter what may comes your way, your life is in his hands say no matter what may comes your way your life is in his hands i hope you are blessed by this i hope you are blessed by this so let's get back cooking okay let's get back cooking so guys, I am sauteing this fried on the king ponds and I'm getting ready my sauce. So my king pond will be the sauce, part of the sauce I should say. Yes, yeah, so I'm just frying it for a bit. Yeah, and then I'm going to put the fresh season on that and then i'm gonna add the coconut milk to that and then you see what i'll be doing yes guys so that's what it looks like so far and my pasta is cooking over there yep and my vegetable is already cooked and i've strained it So we are cooking together guys and this is actually turn your hand make fashion dinner it's friday you don't want to have the regular thing you just want to just do something different and when something different is doing this family you will always most of the time see me me the one doing it because i like to play around and try different stuff you know may not be the same as everybody else but as i said everybody kitchen cooks differently even in this family you know the, the weird thing about it all of us have the same mom and dad and all of us cook different our food tastes different and we actually grow up in the same kitchen, having the same taste meal. But when we start cooking, we all cook differently. And that's, you know, that's, that's it. Get some fresh air in. Yes, guys, we all cook different. We all, you know, our meal tastes different. So I'm going to put the fresh season in. Throw that around. My pasta is cooked. So I'm making the sauce now. Oh, it smells this delicious. Ah. And this a fried a meal with a different. Yeah? Fried a meal with a different. Okay. So let's get all that in. Looking lovely. So, what you guys cooking on a Friday? Yeah. Are you normally just turn your hands and make fashion, or would you say that you actually cook the same 
on a Friday, like you would cook on a Monday, on a Tuesday, sorry. Uh, Monday, Tuesday. Camera just went around. Wednesday, I'm cutting a piece of ginger. Thursday, do, do you cook the same? In, in, in this home, we don't normally have the same thing every day, yeah? So like Sunday is more like a typical um, Caribbean, Jamaicans cooking. You probably have rice and peas. I must say most Sunday, rice and peas, yeah. And you can probably have fried chicken, baked chicken, um, barbecue chicken, or chicken, 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 curry chicken. But it's normally, I'm, I'm more of a chicken or fish person, so you probably have that most of the time. Or sometimes some curry mutton or curry lamb or curry goat, whatever you call it. But it's never the same. On a, on a Monday, not going to lie, it's a relaxing day. So Sunday is Monday. Sunday, Monday dinner. So, when you cook on a Sunday, you always seem to cook enough so you can relax on the Monday and don't have to worry about cooking, okay? Tuesday now, it will be yam, banana, dumpling, or probably saltfish and cabbage. I'm going to pour my freshly squeezed coconut milk to this. I'm making the sauce, guys. I think I may use all of it. Um, I'm going to use all of the milk. Yeah. So, on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday, sometimes you may have, like, stew peas, or you may have fish, or uh, quinoa, and so So, in, in this family, we never actually do the same thing every day over and over yeah we always try new stuff yeah and implement new cooking so as you can see friday is something different so i'm going to put my chicken maggi cube in because you know for us we like spice we like to taste you know spice in our, our cooking so i'm going to put some chili in yeah and some parsley into that. Want some to put on the top. And I'm gonna also put some mixed herb in that. You can try my recipe if you want to. You know, I don't mind. But as I said, everybody cook different. Everybody cook different. And I'm gonna put some turmeric in that. So I'm making my sauce guys making my coconut sauce i love coconut yeah i love coconut i love my coconut and i'm gonna put some pumpkin and new community also so i've got I'm going to save it because I don't want the, um, the new lid stuff. I just want the, the seasoning. I'm going to put a bit of the pumpkin. Shake it, shake it up a little bit. Shake it up a little bit. Shake it up a little bit. Just a bit of it. Smell lovely guys. Smelling good. Yeah. Smelling good. So that's me on my Friday. What did you, it's a beautiful day today, I must say. And the sun is shining. I was able to get some laundry out on the line. Mm, that's nice. So it's looking it's looking good. The weather's looking good. Yeah. I'll put some yeah, chili in it. Mm -hmm. And a bit of the ketchup. Yeah. And a bit of the 
spice. They're too spicy. And then I'm gonna put my pineapple in. Yeah. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is it. This is what it looks like. Remember, it's coconut, freshly squeezed coconut milk that is cooking and making the sauce. So when it's cooked, I'm going to put um, the mixed vegetable in. And then the last thing is going to go in is my pasta. So my pasta is already over there. Okay. So that's what it looks like now. So I'm just going to let that cook down for a bit. Yeah. So if you guys are enjoying your day and the country is slowly opening it back, unfortunately, COVID-19 is still hanging around, you know, we declare in the name of Jesus that it will dry up all over the world. COVID-19 will die. It will cease to function anymore. No more lives will be affected. In the name of Jesus and every man woman and boys and girls will be protected from this virus this disease that is out there and that we will be able to function effectively again we'll be able to love each other we'll be able to you know socialize again we'll be able to do what we enjoy doing but we will be coming back after this coming back with wisdom knowledge and understanding and, and, and realizing the importance you know to to, to be there for each other and to love each other and to look after each other and so I, I, I just declare in the name of Jesus that COVID-19 will dry up from the root from from existence where it comes from it will dry up in the name of Jesus and so we will be free as human race to be able to be functioning in a correct way in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah you know this kitchen is, is so blessed you know that's why I believe that it's never out of food because you know when my mom is in here she's always playing our gospel and she's always you know just in the spirit and you know revelation and always been bursting forth you know through her and stuff like that so I know that this kitchen is blessed you know I know that God is in it, you know, and this kitchen of cooked food and, you know, share food with others. So, you know, it's a blessed kitchen. It's a blessed kitchen. And we, we are grateful. Hallelujah. Oh, that tastes so lovely, guys. That tastes so lovely. Yeah. Tastes so lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It is so wonderful, wonderful. Jesus is so guys um the gravy the sauce I should say is looking good but I want it to be a bit thicker so I'm gonna put some um cornstarch in it and this is it's like a white um, it's like flour but it's not flour yeah so we call it cornstarch so I'm gonna put a bit of that in there just to thicken the gravy yeah can see it's looking lovely looking absolutely lovely and delicious so that's my that's my the gravy looks like it's going down so I'm adding a bit of water to that because I want I want when we eat you know that the pasta you have the all the juice of the, the sauce just delicious yeah oh so lovely so lovely okay so I'm gonna strain off my pasta and I'm gonna put in my mixed veg so that's my mixed veg put that in stir it around to get it equal even how so it's look like a really healthy dish if I should say so let me just show you guys really healthy Friday dish okay so you have all the goodness in that all of the goodness okay wow look at that absolutely lovely so the last thing is my pasta okay 
tell me guys if that don't look delicious look at that look at this dinner pasta with a difference yeah look how juicy look at the the, the sauce in the pasta look how it's just bubbling up and dinner is ready okay all you need is a nice tall glass of lemonade or pineapple drink whatever you fancy and you have a lovely lovely meal before bed beautiful you can just watch telly or you want to sit around your TV you want to sit around your table I should say or you just want to sit and watch telly whatever you want to do while you're having this lovely meal just feel free because it looks so delicious so delicious so guys dinner is served from my kitchen to wherever you are watching this video my pasta dish is ready and with a lovely glass of lemon ginger and pineapple peel drink and that's dinner for you guys hmm. enjoy 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 hope you do enjoy watching this video remember to like share and subscribe and hit the notification button love you guys stay blessed stay motivated stay strong